So if we see any slugs... Okay, I already secured that over there, so I'm not... I don't need to do anything. I should have already gotten the slugs in a cave down there. Yeah, I'm just gonna fly up here. I don't care. Can I put a power pole here? Or can I just do... Can I just do this? Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's continue onward. I don't care about your rules game. I will fly up here. Well, I guess this is within the rules, so... I'm not cheating. I'm just using the mechanics that exist. Is like there something up here? Oh, there's a slug over there. I'll just build power poles or power lines all the way over here. Let's just get that slug. Oh, don't mind me. I will just get this thing here. These things can fly. Alright. I can fly better than you. Come here. Come here. Okay, so I did have to kill them. Well, yellow power slug. We'll just take that. There's a power slug over there. Don't mind me. I am currently traveling. It's passing by. Don't mind me. Don't attack me. No. Haha. <laughs> I got your slug. Na 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 na. Okay. So we're gonna go back here. Oh, there's another slug there. Let's go claim it. I mean, this is ridiculous. Like, look how many slugs I'm getting. Alright. Anything else? Well, we do have to go up there. Oh, there's another slug right there. Do do do. Let's go get some slugs. This uh, it's a green slug. I probably shouldn't spend too much time doing this. I mean, yeah, it'd be great to get more slugs, but. Need to get other things done first. I can see the entire rocky desert area. Entire starting location there. That's where I built in like update three. I think my factory was like five floors up if I remember correctly. Okay, another foundation. Let's put you over here. Power line here. Power line here. Oh, a craft site. Well, all right. Let's do this. Q. 
Okay, we gotta, we're gonna have to clear those things out. Come here, you. We're gonna stay by the power pole. And I think that's it. Okay, let's just go over here. I don't think there's any slugs on this level. It's just the crash site. So I only have 29 explosives left. Okay, let's go to the crash site. We need motors. All right. We'll just take the hard drive here. No, I don't know why I keep pressing T. Like, what was that game I was playing that requires T to go into your crafting thing? It wasn't Vintage Story. I don't think it was Void Train either. Hmm. Well, anyway. Got research going. We got... We'll take the computers. Reinforced iron plates. You know what? Probably should just process the... Slugs right now. Just so we can get that stack back. Oh, I do need to get rid of the steel ingots. Let's get rid of this. And the coal. We don't need it in our inventory. But we need reinforced iron plates and modular frames. Not the screws. Well, I think that's it. And it curves like this. I think the way this was made, we, we were supposed to do some parkour, but instead of doing that, I'm just going to fly up. And there we go. We got a yellow slug. And there's probably something up there as well. Oh, there's a slug over there as well. Kind of hard to see, but definitely yellow, I think. Yeah, I think this entire layout was designed for jumping. But now with the hover pack, like, who wants to do that? Or maybe not jumping, maybe it was with the jet pack. Like, you just go up. But if I do power line spamming like this, or whatever you want to call it. I just go all the way up here. There Whoa, there's uranium. What the hell? There is a uranium ore node here. Let's go check this out. Oh, it's impure. Like, who the hell would want to go all the way up here for uranium? Probably the same type of people who would go here for a purple slug. Probably. Well, if I ever need more uranium... Well, I'm not coming up here, that's for sure. Like, I'll just overclock the one that I have already. Let's put back the hover pack. Now, we're going to follow this path. Ooh, nice pink mist. We're just going to follow this down. Wait, I think there's a slug down there. I think I can see the border of the map right there. And I can see my nuclear power area from here. Interesting. Well, anyway, let's go. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Like, I should have all the slugs here. If I don't, then I'm not 
going to come back for it. It was one trip and one trip only. Wait, is there a slug? Is there something here? No. I don't know why I thought there was something there. Anyway, let's just get out of here. Then I think... Yeah, we did, went down through here. Then... Just follow the power poles... All the way through here. And then we'll get back on the ground level. I don't feel like going over there. So, I won't. And is there anything through there? Or is that just the land obstacle? Some, wait! What do I see over there? Oh, come on. That is... There has to be a slug under there. Like, I see the particles. Let's just kill you and then mine that caterium. There is a slug there. Come here. Okay, that's all of you. Get this caterium thing here. It's a green power slug. All right. Damn it. Uh, crafting bench. Let's get rid of this purple power slug and the yellow power slug. All right, got another 34. Oh, we also need to get rid of the caterium that we picked up. Okay, so let's just collect this. Okay, now we can... Okay, I have this. Come on. All right, let's go back. Oh, there's something over there. I just barely saw it. And there we go, yellow power slug. Ow. Well, I'm just going to ignore you. You stay there and be mad. I'm getting out of here. All right, so let's go back. We got all of our power slugs that we want from this area. Oh wait, there's another power slug like right there. And you guys are following me. So I do have to take you out. Come here. Stay near the power poles. Yeah, there we go. So I need to get that power slug over there. So it's not really guarded. This is just hidden from sight. Speaking of being hidden from sight, there's a cave here. Okay, Blade Runners. Let's heal up. And let's go in. There's gonna be spiders in here, isn't there? I'm exploring a cave. I don't know where it leads or what's in it. I do know there's spiders here. Yeah, like right here. Just gonna aggro all of them. Come here. Okay, so this area over here, this is going to go... where? This goes underwater.
This goes underwater again. Okay, what is... What is that? Oh, it's a yellow power slug. Okay. Yeah, we're collecting a lot of slugs now. And I don't know where I am, but I'm going to pop out somewhere. Wait. Okay, so I'm in this northern area here, and I'm going to pop out at the beach, I bet. I guess I do have to take you guys out. I, wait a minute, didn't I see like uh, some kind of slug on the beach in this area? Like while I was up there. Okay, let's explore the beach. Ooh, a mam. Oh. I guess it's worth clapping. Let's see what we have. We have... Hmm. Do I want high-speed connectors, heavy encased frames, or quick wire cable? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. So... This takes out the screws and puts in concrete. That doesn't seem great. Like, I already have a lot of screws already, so this is not a problem. And quick wire cable... Okay, I have... For high-speed connectors, it's one circuit board, 10 cables, and... So it replaces the silica or it replaces the cables with silica. Like this is an easier thing to do. Do I really want it though? Now, quick wire cable. Probably. Like we already have an alternate recipe for this. It uses rubber as well. I mean, this might be good if I want to use quick wire instead of copper. Maybe we should do this, because this will at least make it easier, and don't really need to do this. So, kind of weird choices, but we'll go with one that seems like it's going to be more practical for my particular factory. Oh, neither one of these. Ah, Come on. Come here. Yeah, there is a slug there. That's the slug I saw. And you are guarded by this thing. And spiders. Oh, come on. Yeah, why are there spiders out in the open? Alright, so I'm just gonna get this slug. So I saw one slug, but is there are there more here? It doesn't look like it. Okay, so I guess we'll go through here to get back. And if there are any more slugs here, then we'll pick those up as well. But I have to go through these guys. And you know what? There was a, like another pathway in that cave there, except I don't feel like going through it. Okay, let's... I think we've done enough slug getting for the time being. Or wait, let's get that one and then that'll be it for the slug getting. Yeah. Where's my power lines? Okay, we got power line right here. I'll just get it... Okay, let's go get the hover pack. And we'll just do it like this. And there we go, another green slug. 
Okay, I think next on the list is encased industrial beams. That looks like a limestone node. But we're not going to make the encased industrial beams here. We're going to do it by our factory. There's a limestone node there. Should probably take advantage of that. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, so this is using a lot of iron ore. And even when overclocked, it's still very saturated. Now, the real question is, do I want to overclock constructors? Uh, that just seems kind of stupid. Well, it... You know, I'm going to leave it like that. For the time being. So, let's go back. And we'll start working on the encased industrial beams. Unless I want to do copper sheets. No, I think we'll stay focused for the time being. We'll do it later if we absolutely need to. Right now, I want to get the encased industrial beams up and running. That way, I can start working on new stuff. Like, I still need to automate the turbo motors and the cooling things. What do you call it anyway? Cooling. Yeah, cooling systems. We need to make these. And this is such a complicated recipe. So we're going to use this instead. We're going to use heat sinks, motors, and nitrogen gas. Because I don't want to bring water into the factory. We might have to eventually though. Well, I just want to try to keep things simple first. And then if we have to get more complicated, we will. Don't want to do any premature optimization. Because that's the root of all evil. Let's check out this area first. What are we doing here? Okay, so we're still producing enough copper ingots. And it seems okay. We still have unused, like, iron ingots or iron ore nodes. Yeah, we're just using this single one. It's completely saturating these things. What I'd like to know is how is our copper ore? It's not really moving. So this is still fine. Is this still fine? So we'll just keep this as is for the time being. And if we need to use that iron ore over there, we will. Oh, there's a slug up. Slug up there. In fact, how many slugs are visible here? Probably should get that, but... You know, at this point, I don't feel like it. We already have four green slugs, two yellow slugs. We're going to have a lot of... Oh, there's another one here. There's a, We already have a lot of shards as it is, so we'll just stick with that for the time being. There's slugs over there. There's a slug over there as well. And I think I saw a slug over there in the distance. Like, let me check out this map. Oh yeah, there's like slugs along this ridge over here. And I didn't really go down here. Okay, so we're back in the factory. How is our steel? I'm gonna go to the other side here, and then we'll check it out. Okay, so... Now, I did see the lines while I was going through the hyper tubes, but it was too dark. 
All right, so we are good on steel for the time being. Now let's put it to work. We're going to build the encased industrial beams over here. I'm going to turn this limestone into concrete. It's a normal node, so I may need to overclock. Okay, I should heal first. And then combine this over here. And then let's start blowing this up. There's too many trees here. I didn't really clear this out because I didn't need to. Now I have a reason to. Just put explosives on the trees here and on these mushrooms. I guess it's mycelia. I probably have to go back to my coal power area and get some more explosives. And the reason I'm doing this instead of chainsaw is because I have a full inventory. I have no more explosives. We'll eventually have to deal with that guy. But what I'm going to do is build a ramp going up here. Uh, you know what? Two ramps. Two levels up. This should be enough space to get our concrete and our encased industrial beams. I probably should clear out my inventory. Just so I can clear this out better. And I also need to convert those slugs. Like, I don't want this in my inventory. I just want them into power shards. to do I, I'm out of explosives let's just put a container here I know there's a container like right by me but I'll just put one over here and just put everything in here and then I'll just collect it later Yeah, let's just do this. Like, let's just get this over with. Explosives are like really clumsy. And we do have some hostiles in this area, so I have to be careful. I guess I don't really have to be careful. They're not going to like one shot me or anything. They'll just do a little bit of damage and if they do any damage to me, then I'll know they're around. I think that's good enough. Let's, uh, let's continue filling out this area.
What does this line connect to anyway? Like, I forget. Oh, it's just for the crash site here. And we don't need to power it up anymore. Oh, wait. Okay, so there's power going through this area. Where does this lead to? Nothing. Or, you know what? Since we're here... Let's just fly up. Except we can't really do put down the power line. But looks to me like there's really nothing we can do here. Okay, so there's my Caterium production line. I, I can see my sulfur area from here. Wait, there's a slug down there. How did I not see that? Well, anyway. Point is... We don't need this over here anymore. So we can clear out that power pole right there. And there's a slug there. 